Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is David Schlothauer here in the Home Weather Office, keeping an eye on your weather forecast for May the 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day for any of those that are joining this video and watching it. In this update, we are watching for severe weather over the next few days across the Midwest and even for portions of the Midwest and the Deep South. So the first thing we're actually going to be looking at is our H. Triple R model or high resolution rapid refresh model for short. It's one of those meso models that we like looking at from time to time. Every time there's severe weather, that is going to be in the forecast. So this is for this afternoon, and the H Triple R model thinks there's gonna be some severe weather over portions of central Iowa. Not particularly strong, but enough to maybe get some pea-sized hail, maybe some gusty 40 mile an hour winds, but we also got some storms down here over central and northern Texas. Also got more storms going on here in portions of Wyoming into Nebraska for this evening on the 5th of May, which is Cinco de Mayo, by the way. Happy Cinco de Mayo once again in this video. And the storms actually, funny enough, is what is being indicated here on the right side of the screen. Guru 2 is what I use, or Guru, however you want to say it. And that is actually a mesosatellite image of a strong thunderstorm that is currently in progress. So interesting enough to add that in this video to replace Raider Omega. So here's a look. At the oh wait no I am I haven't even finished so let's take a look here at our Doppler radar here for tomorrow morning and we do have some elevated based storms over eastern portion there of Missouri so like St Louis you might be waking up to hearing some thunder boomers in the morning maybe some small hail at the very most and maybe some gusty winds from time to time we go throughout much of the day. That funny enough, this storm actually propagates further southeast, so we might have a little meso complex of severe weather over southern Illinois, southern Indiana, into say um, Kentucky, like Mayfield, by tomorrow afternoon. This would be about six to seven o'clock central and eastern daylight time, and then by the afternoon hours, we're actually going to zoom in here. We're going to look for our central sector. We're going to actually be looking at Texas because this is where our severest weather is going to be taking place for tomorrow. So it's kind of an interesting day, nevertheless, where we have just kind of uh, mediocre kind of thunderstorm activity going on. But in particular, it looks to be mainly the Texas area that could really uh, get the brunt of severe storms. So first of all, this is for about 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We have some storms that could pop up near Vernon, Texas, kind of that border between um, the Red River uh, and Oklahoma. And then look at what happens here. These storms really blossom up. Very intense thunderstorms, large hail, some uh, very strong wind gusts, and even maybe a tornado or two cannot be ruled out with these storms. And yeah, maybe... Um, I like I said, very large three plus inch hail cannot be ruled out because we're going to have so much much instability that is going to be in place with these storms in northern Texas and Oklahoma. And then, like I said, every evening these storms fall apart. They weaken because these storms solely re, um, kind of rely on daytime heating, a well-mixed boundary layer to get things mixed up, to get these storms firing up. We really don't have much in the way of like a weather system to really agitate things. We do have some shortwave activity, but we don't have a very intense shortwave negatively tilted to really kind of get things ramped up to where we have a very well dynamic setup, where we have a warm sector, where we have a dry line and a warm front. In this case, we have a more of a theta E gradient coupled with um, very strong to extreme instability. So we can see instability is very healthy today across central and southeast, uh, southeast Texas, including southern Texas. And take note, look at how much energy these storms use up. They run right into that extreme instability, and then look at that. They're kind of not much left behind those storms, but the air mass recovers each day. So by tomorrow, we're going to have the same thing. Extreme instability across Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and again, any of these storms that use up that energy will be capable of some pretty large hail, two plus inches, 
maybe even three inches in diameter, perhaps something that no one wants to hear about if you're living in the Oklahoma, Texas region. And then same thing happens again extreme instability really sets up here over indiana over uh, illinois southern iowa across much of missouri oklahoma texas much of the midwest here really covered in moderate strong and at times extreme instability and that kind of might continue all the way into monday so now you've heard about this on other weather channels that there's going to be a severe weather outbreak, perhaps. I'm not going to say uh, the YouTuber, but you know who I'm talking about. They're all, they were mentioning in previous videos that this is going to be a severe weather outbreak, potentially. Just because you have a lot of instability does not mean you're going to have a severe weather outbreak. There's other uh, metrics that kind of come into play for a severe weather outbreak. You need the wind shear, of course. You need, of course, the instability. You need uh, the dew points that are needed for it. You need steepening mid-level lapse rates. And you have to have a forcing mechanism. We have a got to have a, a very dynamic weather pattern or a trough to get things going. In this case, despite the strong to extreme instability, I don't think we're going to see a severe outbreak. We're just going to see some very large hail events, two, maybe three inches in diameter. That does not mean there's going to be a severe outbreak at all. We're not talking a lot about tornadoes. So kind of on from uh, t telling you all about that, just kind of be careful who you watch because uh, other YouTubers like to kind of go a little aggressive on things and just be careful with what you digest when you watch those videos. So dew points, another thing you have to digest tomorrow and the next few days is some pretty humid conditions here. We got dew points in the 70s and upper 70s, mid 70s across Texas, Oklahoma. Each and every day, there's gonna be a lot of moisture that is going to be surging northward ahead of this dry line and look how sharp this actually gets especially on the h triple r model pretty sharp dry line here with a lot of moisture over texas and oklahoma that's going to yield our instability um that is going to be in play each and every day and yes these storms will have tall strong updrafts for large hail immense wind gusts and maybe a tornado or two no tornado outbreak we're not seeing anything like that as what i can see so the spc day one outlook for today does highlight two separate areas of slight risk for severe weather this is driven mainly by a hail risk so big time hail is anticipated we're looking at a sig for that tornadoes today really not a big deal along to go with wind so it's really going to be about that large hail that uh, we're going to have to really monitor closely in future uh, updates for these slight risks that are currently out. Same thing for day two. We have a slight risk for severe weather. Oh, um, that is driven by a non-sig for large hail, actually, um, up there across uh, Missouri and Illinois. But a slight risk down here for a significant hail and the tornado risk um, is also a 2%. So we're not seeing any, again, no tornado outbreak. Actually, the only thing that's significant for tomorrow would be the hail, and it's down here across Texas. But otherwise, looking at a somewhat flat day, I'm not calling it completely calm, but we're not seeing 30 sig this, 30 sig that, we're not seeing a 10 sig for tornadoes. Otherwise, we would probably word this a lot differently. So here's a day three um, risk for severe weather over Iowa. And you can see there a level two out of five on the severity weather index scale. Now I do have a couple of announcements that I do really wanna share with you all that are very, very important before I close this video is that please consider checking out my semi-annual YouTube channel survey. I know some people have been saying I have spelled semi incorrectly. Just read it carefully. It is spelled correctly. Got Grammarly to help me with that. So if you haven't taken the survey yet, I would highly recommend doing so. There is a link in the description below this video. And also another thing is I do have a Patreon page. Let me see if I can bring it up here. If you're all interested in helping to show your awesome loyal support, you could also follow me here on Patreon. 
I am going to start this back up on May 7th of 2023 so in a couple of days here i will do some daily posting i will do things special for some of my patreons including for the upcoming hurricane season i cannot wait to grow this page through my patreons that have supported me and we have currently two patreons that have supported me thus far all right also another thing you might want to check out trilogymaps.com i am incredibly excited to announce that i'm officially an affiliate with trilogymaps.com the link will be in the description and the pinned comment below trilogy maps has created the highest definition the most customizable digital maps you can find anywhere online at a highly affordable price these maps are so customizable due to a very unique layering system that makes it possible to create whatever map you like. Making weather maps that look incredibly professional has never been this easy before. So if you want the highest definition, the most customizable, and the most professional looking weather maps that you can make up for a very affordable price, go ahead and check out TrilogyMaps.com. And again, be sure to use my 20% off discount code by going to TrilogyMaps.com and then entering the code DAVID before finalizing your purchase. But anyways, that is going to sum it up for today's video in the home weather office with an update on your weather forecast for May the 5th, 2023. As always, have a fantastic rest of your Cinco de Mayo Friday, and I'll be back with you more tomorrow.